Hello, neighbors. Welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm Squealer D and I am back again. And this time we are back with Amy Marion just days after her anniversary. Is there love in the air or did the rings get tossed in the ocean? In today's video, we'll examine the clues and reveal some of the truth about what's really going on in Amy's life. This is a season of the story you're not gonna wanna miss. Let's see what she's doing. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday, happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going So this was posted on October 16th and in Amy Land, she's saying that that is October 9th, it's Monday. Let's see what she's been up to for the weekend. This is Monday, right after she did Friday Fragments and Autumn's birthday last week. So this weekend, they were supposed to take Autumn, her, and Greg out to dinner for her birthday. Let's see if they did that. Going wonderfully. Do you know what happened here in Florida? I don't even know, but the cold weather has come down. It is 66 degrees here in Florida this morning. I don't even know what to Finally, she will not be talking about her sweaty eyeballs. <laughs> what is this? No ring? It's Monday and there is no ring here? She had a ring on on Friday. Where's her ring? So it's going to be a good day today. So I am going to get a bunch of stuff done. Did not do anything this weekend except um, get out and have fun with my kids. Okay, so she said she didn't do anything this weekend, but get out and do something fun with her kids. But she said her and Greg were going to take Autumn for a birthday dinner. That doesn't sound like she did. Here is her on Oct the, the video posted on October 13th telling us that they were going to do that. We'll be taking Autumn out for her birthday. So there's only going to be a few here to eat. I don't think we need any food. So they indeed did not take Autumn for her birthday, her and Greg. What happened, Gregor? We have a lot of leftover food. Is that why she doesn't have a ring on? From this weekend, we did eat out one day, um, just unexpectedly. So she, they ate out unexpectedly this weekend, but she told us on Friday that she was taking Autumn to eat this weekend. And why did she sigh? Is it that big of a deal to take her kids out to eat? And um, we used a gift card we got from a friend. And so I'm like, so there's probably a lot of, I know there's a lot of food in here left over, so I'm not gonna have to worry about food today. So and then we I don't understand all these gift cards and this gift card exchange that her followers have going on with her. Fake Christians wasting their money on a grifter. 60 million Americans needed food pantries last year. But these fake Christians send a woman who just purchased a $650,000 house gift cards to buy fast food. You guys are probably all going to hell. We went to TJ Maxx yesterday and picked up a few things. Went so they went to TJ Maxx this weekend, but she was supposed to take Autumn out for her birthday, her and Greg, but they did not do that. Don't worry. They went to TJ Maxx. Stopping with the girls. So I got Miss Barbara. She always sends us. Our kids stuff, she's so sweet. Everybody needs a Miss Barbara. Miss Barbara, there are actual kids out there that need you to send them stuff. They live in foster care. They live in adoption centers. They live in places all over the United States that are not very nice places to live. They could really use an Aunt Barb. So she sent us a goodie box to do something I don't normally have to do. I have to do clean the filter for my pool. So Greg usually does this. This pool is his job. So I'm like, let me get a pool person to come. Recently, she's been telling us how you can do the pool all by yourself. It's a chemistry and it's Greg's job, but she's out doing it without her ring on. Hmm. I feel like I need to get something to kind of pry it because there's a little... Like stuck. Let me go see. I don't think that this knife, she looks crazy holding this knife. I do not think that a butter knife is the way to open a very expensive pool filter. I don't think that that's a good idea. And then did she say Greg in the past tense, like he used to take care of the pool, but he doesn't anymore? She should probably hire a pool guy.
It worked. <laughs> I was like, am I going to get this off? I can see where there were scrapes, so probably the other person did the same. The other person, meaning Greg, that's how Greg got it off too, was with a butter knife. Probably not the best idea, and most likely why you had to use the butter knife. I got it off, that's all that matters, so I'm going to rinse it off because it's green so I can get it in the pool and get the algae stuff out of there. She's going to rinse it off right here on the bricks where her little tiny dog Maxine and her kids with barefoot and her barefooted are going to walk right over it. All this allergy and possible cyanobacteria. She's washing on to the pool deck so it can go into the pool, her bare feet. If Maxine were to ingest even just tiny bits of cyanobacteria, she could die within minutes. Maybe this un- sanitized pool this unkempt pool is the reason that jensen is always sick maybe he doesn't have bubble guts exposure to this type of bacteria in their pool can lead to vomiting diarrhea confusion dizziness fever lethargy it can also cause permanent kidney and liver damage she definitely needs a pool guy maybe Using that pool as a bathtub is the reason that it's so green and the reason she had to make so many doctor's appointments lately. Maybe she wanted to be so much like the other YouTube mamas that she went and got herself a murky, tepid mosquito sanctuary, just like the Moss Family TV. She really wanted to be like Fallon. It's just going right there. Even out the, the filter, is there an easier way besides just hosing it? I think so. So this is good. I'll get this and then I got to throw a bunch of, we put the chemicals in there to make the balance in our water good. So now I just need to put chlorine in there to make it stable again. So we'll be good. She has no idea what she's doing. She acts like she does and all she's doing is poisoning her family. Chemicals are not good for you in the wrong amounts. That is why there are pool people and chemicals testers to test the levels. Amy does not care. She does not care. As long as it is the cheapest way she can do it, she's going to do it. Don't let Maxine lick that up. <clears throat> okay, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's good enough. I'm going to have to dump it do it again after the pool is, you know, got the green out of it that's in the rain. So let's go put this back. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Oops, let's see if we can put it back and turn it on without any leaks. That's the key. So Greg goes to work and they leave the pool and it gets green, but he has time to go swimming all the time with his wife and kids. Okay. She doesn't know how this went back together. Was that a leak? Okay, it's looking good now. Let me go see if I got some shock. I know I got chlorine to pour in the pool. I got to pour it. Ready for the green? It's green. That's what happens when you don't take care of it for a few days. Let me go. That looks like what happens when you never take care of it. This is what this is what the pool in North Carolina looked like. It had a foot of sludge in the bottom and it was green. Amy does not know how to take care of pools. I don't know why she purchased a $650,000 house with a pool when she does not know anything about pools and she obviously does not have enough money to take care of this pool correctly. Yeah, let me see if I got some shock first. I got a little drippage going on in my thing. It's okay. It's all right, Amy, a little bit of drift, bitch. Who cares if it floods your house? Who cares if it floods the neighbor's house? Who cares if it causes irreparable damage? Yeah. Just a little bit, it's okay. It's so okay. when you don't have any chlorine or, sh or stuff, you just do what you got. So I have one puck. I'm gonna put this in my filter basket. This is all Lowe's had when we went. Amy's motto, just, just use what you got. Just do what you have. Just maybe that's why she's not wearing a wedding ring anymore because that is her motto they didn't even have chlorine liquid so i've got about three quarters about it which is not much so i'm going to put this in they wouldn't need to keep putting in chlorine if greg wouldn't have broke their salt generator we're going to run to lowe's today and pick up some more stuff someone in the comments said oh dear your pool looks so unhealthy please don't swim in that call a pro or at least bring in a water sample the filter is probably ruined from bits of tile and grout dust tossing in a bit of bleach won't work nope we already replaced the filter it was missing a chemical in the water it's been clear for a long time since the grouting but pool water changes it doesn't have the right chemicals we got the right amounts now so we are good 
That's Amy with all of her pool knowledge. She's lived in this house for four months and the pool has never been right. Okay, hopefully this video was filmed many weeks ago and things are better now. Your pool has been getting more and more discolored since you moved in and the filter you were rinsing was beyond dirty. If you end up with illnesses or skin and ear infections, you'll know where to look first. Thank you. We are good. You are so not good, Amy. That is why your children are always sick. Okay, that's all I got, that's all I got. So I have to go to Lowe's and pick up the rest. Maxine's going crazy on the squirrel. Right. It's good, and then we're gonna go head out today. So I'm excited to get out, we're gonna pack our lunches and go head out for the afternoon for a nice little time out. We'll see what we do, I don't know. We're gonna hopefully go to. And if Greg isn't gone, then they definitely have to leave the house every day to get away from his raging. A couple good places and hopefully the, it stays nice. We'll see how the weather does. So. Everything's finished in the house. So what we're gonna do now, we packed a lunch. They grabbed, we had chicken, or. Er, egg salad or subs left over so the egg salad or chicken salad and subs left over those are from supposedly last friday egg salad that's been in the refrigerator all weekend sandwiches that have been there all weekend amy you cannot eat food that has been even in the refrigerator for five days it is not healthy it's another reason your kids are always sick and egg salad in a clown museum for school, for high schoolers, your kids should rebel. So we are going to now get out the door. We are gonna to go to the Ringling Museum. I'm not sure anything about it. Okay, we're going to the Ringling Museum. Perfect place for you, Amy, for the clowns. And theater and gardens. Look at that. Okay, there they are, Maddie's one pair of shorts that she has that she wears in every single video. And if Maddie doesn't wear them, somebody else does. Amy, buy your kids some more clothes, please. And Chucks suck as a primary shoe. They're not very comfortable. And the children have, I didn't show them. I showed this so we could see that she wears the same pants every single day. But the children constantly ask Amy not to show them. And in every video, she finds a way to show them. Every time. And you would think, you know, Amy says, oh, well, this is my business. Is this a business that Amy can pass on down to her children? No. When Amy dies, the business dies with Amy. The kids cannot get on here and start making her horrific food. They cannot take her channel over and become Amy Marion. That's not going to happen. So if Amy wants to make things right, she needs to pay the children. She needs to start paying the kids before her channel collapses. All the children over, over 18, they should get a direct payment based off the earnings and the videos that they were in. All of the younger ones, they should have an Acorn account opened for them and have a setup or similar access so that when they get older, they have something that Amy has built for them. Pay up, Amy. You want redemption? You want to start changing the path that your channel, that your life is on? Then pay up and tell the truth. You built your channel with your family's lives. But the only people that benefit are you and Greg. You two have raised all of your kids the same way. You would have had to raise them even if you didn't have a channel. But you act like the only option you had was starting this channel. That is not true. You could have did anything else. You wanted to do this because you're selfish. So now, pay up, Amy. Your kids deserve something for this channel. Otherwise, take their weddings down. Take the baby's baby shower down. Your followers aren't even good enough to see what your grandson looks like. But that video sure is up there to keep making you money, isn't it? Great place. This is awesome. So it's free on Mondays to do um, like we're doing. So she took them to this because it's free on Mondays. In the museum and you can walk the grounds and that. All right, we are leaving. I'm going to go get my babies and we'll go ahead for some more fun outing. Okay, we found a Walmart. So I love when you go to new places. You have no idea where you're going. So you just type in the GPS. It's good. Yeah, that's pretty much what you do, Amy. <laughs> okay, so we got some. This for... Every time Greg is gone, she buys the kids things. She takes the kids places. Where did they go? They went to a free museum. Now they're at Walmart buying things. She's buying the kids little things. She always does when Greg is gone. Crafting children. 
I found pool shacks and that was it, so. Spy, we were gonna leave. Look what I found. Pool chlorine. Yes. Look at what we got for that. We got our pool. So excited over the chlorine. Chlorine to tide us over till our thing gets here. We are good. Smetty's getting some nails. Everybody gets something they like. Everybody gets something they like because Greg's not here and I have to make up for it. All right, we got nails. And we got hair clips. Crunchies. Okay, let's go check out. All right, we are good. Everybody got one small little thing and we got, you're welcome, and chlorine to last us until our thing gets here. I think this weekend it's supposed to be here. So this weekend her pool thing is supposed to be here. Hmm. So it all gets shipped on time. So we're going to go ahead and go get dinner now. We came to Chick-fil-A and we brought McDonald's. So they went out this weekend to eat for Autumn's birthday or just uh, unexpectedly. And now they're eating out again. Sounds like Greg is gone to me. Amy doesn't take her kids out to eat except for when Greg is gone. <laughs> McDonald's for the boys. They had she made sure she showed Jensen's face, even though he doesn't want to. She made sure she shows all the kids, even when they don't want to. Shame on you, Amy. Gift cards we got there, and we got Chick-fil-A for the girls. So it has been a good day. We had a great time. Good food, the, bird, the chicken pimento sandwich, really, really good. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My so this is supposedly Tuesday, October 17th, which in Amy's time would be the 10th. Morning is going well. I'm outside. I've got my feet in the pool and it feels like bath water. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes. It feels like bath water, Amy, but it is not bath water. You have to take your bath in the house with soap. Today our pool was green. It was so green. We are having, um, we had an issue with our salt generator. And so um, it just, it worked for like a little bit when we moved in, but it just seemed like it wasn't staying. And I'm like, what is the pool? This is going to be weird. Are we just going to have to go to chlorine? What are we going to do? But So the salt generator worked for a little bit when they moved in. Yeah. And then Greg did the tile and he destroyed it. He destroyed the filter. He destroyed the salt generator. He destroyed the pool cleaner. Remember you had to upgrade and get a new one from Aper. Yeah, I remember. Amy, Greg ruins everything he touches. When are you just going to admit it and stop hiding the fact that he literally ruins everything? And that is exactly why you're still not wearing your ring today, are you? Anyways, we're, we're getting it figured out. So the salt generator is on its way, which is good. It just takes some time to get here. Um, get up early today and drop Brooklyn off at work. She had to go early this morning. So I'm like, okay, and then we got stuck in traffic. Oh, yeah, Florida traffic is just, I was, we were talking, and I'm like, I would think if you had a job, you would be late to work every day, like every day. Like our bosses leaning down here because I feel like you would just. Yeah, Amy, go ahead and just get Brooklyn to work whenever you can. Bosses in Florida, they understand traffic and they're totally lenient. You could be two hours late for work. You could be three hours late for work. They totally, they'll let you make it up at the end of the shift. No big deal. You just take your time getting Brooklyn to work. Don't worry about it. Florida has the coolest bosses in all of the U.S. Just be late all the time. Like we, we were set to go one way and it's the school route. Avoid the school route. So thank God for... Imagine Amy teaching her kids anything about time management and being responsible and getting somewhere on time, leaving early. You know, some people leave two hours early for work to make sure that they get there on time. GPS, and then I realized after being here and driving around discovering places, I'm like, wow, you can really have your own peaceful haven completely. I mean, you can have middle of nowhere for Florida when you go to... I guess you picked wrong, Greg. You picked a house right here in the suburbs, right here in a little subdivision with a pool. And Amy is not happy. She wanted to live in a little cabin in the woods in Florida. She did not want to have neighbors. Bad choice, Grego. Move here, you're looking and you're like, I have no idea. So, you know, a lot of people just get apartments, places. I'm like, oh my goodness, just the amount, the vastness of the people that way stacked on top of people. But it, it um, I'm like, I would think, you know, for a similar price, which they're very expensive, you can get a home. Even today, we're going to go out again today. So you guys are going to get, it's mixing it up. This is, you know what, I don't, I can't tell you what my channel is going to do. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, Amy, because people choose to live in apartments. They could just go get a house like yours, huh, instead of living in an apartment. What I'm going to do next week, like life can change like that. So you just have to be willing to like kind of flow with it and do things. And you know, will I be making a ton of food? I don't know. Who knows? We ate out so much the last few days. I even told the kids, I'm like, my goodness, we have so much leftovers from eating out. That's just crazy. <laughs> it's 
we're gonna have to eat something or we're gonna eat out again and i don't think we want to eat out that much eventually you'll go broke so i was like she sure has been talking about money a lot lately who buys a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and then has to complain about money so much what's a good easy meal so you know sounds to me like she overspent on her house she's spending too much on housing and not enough on her food it's quite disturbing for her children oh, today's gonna be taco tuesday taco tuesday taco tuesday tacos every time that she needs to make something and she doesn't want to do anything amy makes tacos once a week and she uses one pound of meat and they always have leftovers It'll be simple and easy. It's delicious. Everybody loves it. We rode the bike. Everybody loves it, but they have leftovers every single time. Like this weekend, and I know they have the tire. I was like, I got on the bike, and I'm like, the tires are so flat. That's going to be my Tuesday today. I'm like, you know what? Sometimes we're doing a lot. Sometimes we're not. You're here for the journey of life. and So the tires are still flat. Do I, what do, what do I do? What do I film? What do I share? What do I come out in here and do? I, do I tell you all the things that are boggling through my mind? No, don't need to do all those things. What you have a lot of things boggling through your mind, Amy. What is it I have to do? I'm going to make food. We need food or we're going to be eating out of Chick-fil-A again. And the kids won't care, but I will. And I do want to share with you Julia Jewelry. Julia Jewelry has been part of my channel for a long time. For a long time since I started vlogging, they have partnered with me. And um, they always give you guys a discount. Always give you guys a good discount. So Julia Jewelry is a straight up scam site. It's ironic that she promotes a company that blatantly engages in copyright infringement, literally, when she struck my channel over copyright infringement. But she has no problem with Julia actually being a complete Disney ripoff. Yeah. So this is Julia's website. You can see right away what doesn't belong. Oh, Julia, Halloween fun skull design. Yeah, look, it's Jack. That's right. It's a ripoff. It's not a Disney. It's Jack and Sally. No, it's everlasting love. My godmother. Okay. Or is that Maleficent? Jack? Or is it a Halloween fun skull design? Everlasting love. Is it how to train your dragon? Or is it Julia hug me your dragon? Is it Winnie the Pooh, or is it Bear Holding Honey Pot? Look, little monster, it is a fake scam website that she promotes to make money. If she wants fake cheap jewelry, she could get it off of Amazon, but no. Julia has a three out of five on Trustpilot, with 35% of reviews are negative. Just order from Amazon. If you want fake jewelry, at least you won't be directly supporting the CCP. Amy is directly helping foreign investors buy American homes. Good job, Amy. Way to support the CCP. Rings goes. <laughs> Great. And she doesn't have her ring on. It's where her wedding ring goes, right? To bring awareness, breast cancer, we are women. And it's breast cancer awareness, and she always has people that are suffering from cancer in her comments, do you think Amy's gonna give this ring to any of her followers? And I know that early detection for those things. Or do you think she's gonna slip it on her greedy little finger and keep it? I'm guessing she's gonna keep it. Are very, very important to help um, stop the slow of all of that. And I know some of my viewers are going through different breast cancer right now and just uh, couldn't imagine going through those things. And I know that early detection sometimes does help in those situations, I know not always, but just definitely a good thing to bring some awareness for the month of October. So, yeah, good job bringing awareness. But never would you think about sending that to one of your followers, would you? And it'll be a good day. We'll get them up. We'll get school done and have a good start today. I was wrote down. I wrote. I try to like you guys send cards, just send gift cards, things like that. And Miss Carol, she sent us gift cards yesterday. She sent them to Madeline for Chick Fil A. So that was where we were able to go to Chick Fil A yesterday. We went there and got that. And then um, she sent also some Starbucks gift cards. So we get some coffee to you know keep us rolling for a day. So 
Make sure you send somebody who just bought a $650,000 house some gift cards when they're starving children in America. Good job, Miss Carol. You're a hero. Thank you, Miss Carol, for that. Super sweet. You guys are super sweet, super blessed. You're super sweet, and you're super blessing her children, teaching them all about life and blessings. Us kids, oh, I should clean my house. I should have my house deep cleaned every single day. No, those videos are not. They don't deep clean every single day. If they do, I don't know. <laughs> the house is super clean, I guess. <laughs> Find some hobbies, I think. <laughs> So are you making fun of people who deep clean every day? Or are you making fun of people who clean every day? You are a stay-at-home mother. You made a career of being a stay-at-home mother. Some people that do watch you because you're a stay-at-home cleaning up mama are probably those type of people who clean every day. Why don't you ever think about people who watch you? Just like the Costco thing, how you said Costco was horrible and half of the people that watch you go to Costco, Amy. Why don't you ever think before you speak? Ever. Or go find some people to pour into, to mentor to. or to. They should find somebody to pour into or mentor instead of sending you items. That's what's wrong with people that watch you because they shouldn't be giving you anything, including a view. They should be giving it to people who actually deserve it courage that kind of thing so miss carol thank you we are very much appreciative of that as well so lots of people on here just been very much a blessing to our family and helps my kids to see like the kindness of people and the goodness of people we see the garbage they hear the garbage they laugh with it they they know it's there they know you know it's it's on there and so but to see the other side like really so getting free gift cards is the other side the real life and you let them watch this channel I wouldn't let my children watch this channel, so you're brave. I know, though, that you allow your children unvetted, free range on the Internet. And I think that is a mistake. So, you know, maybe you should stop allowing your children to watch all the garbage on the Internet. Maybe you should actually school them and teach them things instead of allowing them just to sit up in their room and eat and be on the internet all day watching videos like this. Life, like we know, like we're blessed by God and he gives us that thing, but sometimes kids don't see that. So when they... So it's good for them to get a free gift card so they could see that Jesus loves them. can see that in a gesture like that. It goes, yeah, people are, people that don't even know you are genuinely kind. I was just sitting here thinking... Yes, more gift cards, people. Keep it up. You got to feed the Marions until Greg gets a job or comes back from wherever he's at. That's why she's not wearing her ring. Amy is completely lost. Receiving gift cards isn't teaching the kids about goodness in people. It's teaching the children to grift and take advantage of gullible people. It's teaching the boys to be like Greg and depend on a woman for everything. Contribute nothing to the household or to the child care and think it's okay. It's teaching the girls to start an OnlyFans or depend on a man for everything. Amy really needs to look up parasocial relationships. Those gift cards come from mental illness, not from kindness. She let her kids watch this channel. Think about that. I know you don't believe in messaging and doctrination of public schools, but you just allow your kids online to listen to a lady in a tiara commentate on their daily lives. Think about that, Amy. Something's wrong with you. I wouldn't even let my own child watch this. I'm like, what else do I need to make rice? I forgot we like rice with our stuff. I had to laugh. I opened my cupboard up over there, and my coconut oil is finally hard. Remember how it's been liquidy for, like, the whole summer? It finally did get normal color. So. It changed colors, Amy. The coconut oil is hard because it's fall. It's October. It's still rancid. It's still yellow. Rancid oil. Toxic algae. Hmm. Mix chili beans to our meat. Of course, you have to mix the chili beans, at least two cans. If she put a pound of hamburger meat, she needs at least two cans of beans. We don't have refried beans. This helps stretch the meat for one. And the flavor is just really good with the taco seasoning. I don't know. It'll stretch the meat. It'll stretch it. Where do you want it to stretch until your kids die of malnutrition? And I've been eating it, so I might as well do it. It'll stretch that meat a little bit because it's only, I think it's only a pound of hamburger. Why didn't you use more? You know that you could buy more hamburger meat. Your kids need protein. 
So my meat and my beans are done to, to ensure it's staying warm and good for the day. Look, at I got this one up. This is awesome. And look at So rather than cook it when they need it, she's going to throw it in here and keep it warm all day long. Let's hope that foodborne bacteria just grows in this and causes Jensen to have more bubble guts. I put two of my glass dishes in there. Let's hope it fits in there. This is good. So this will ensure as long as you're meat. That's good. Just keep it hot all day long. Just let the let the bacteria just grow in there. You know she's not going to keep it at the right temperature. She's never going to temp check it. She's not going to ever take proper food handling precautions for her children. And that is why it seems as though Jensen has bubble guts. Really, he just always has low-grade food poisoning. Poor Jensen. Beans are heated. Like, the rice won't have to be heated up. You can put that down when it's not super cold. Let's keep it warm. Look at that. Okay, this is going to choose for Jensen. Stop telling everybody about Jensen's bubble guts. Jensen, tell her to stop. I'll cook him and make Greg's lunch so he has that and that's done. And then I'll chop up. This lunch bit is so stupid and unnecessary. It makes you look pathetic and dumb. Everybody that has a brain cell in their little tiny brains knows that something is up with Greg. Just shut up about Greg. It's comical how clear it is that you're lying. Whenever you bring up Greg, we know you're lying. You have non-congruent gestures, your eye movement patterns, your voice changes, your breathing changes, you touch your neck. Yeah, you would suck at poker, Amy, because we all know when you're lying. Stop with this charade. Go give these sandwiches to Jaden or eat them yourself, round girl. Veggies. Perfect. So that's going to sit. So we have that with rice, beans, meat. We have lettuce and tomato and onions. And we have sour cream and there's salsa. That'll take care of dinner tonight. I'm not going to worry about this. That's finished. Pretend school. Yeah. Teach so those it's kids. about 4 o'clock right now. So we're going to go head over to, it's called the Rye Preserve. All right. So we went to the, the Rye Preserve and it was a little bit like, primitive like middle of nowhere like I wasn't too sure primitive well the folks on TripAdvisor say the preserve is great it has campgrounds a playground restrooms a lot of hiking trails that are clearly marked and lots of wildlife to see on the trails I guess Amy should have took the children to an actual activity maybe one that cost money what did she expect at a park for hiking it was primitive what is a modern hiking trail, Amy? The walkways at the airport that walk you? Get out of here. Like, it wasn't like a marked trail, like, yes, go this way or go that way. So I was like, you know what? She needed signs and directions that said, Amy Marion, this way. I just wasn't getting good vibes to go there. We're like, let's just Google Park. So this one is Tom Bennett Park. Like everybody says a fan. <laughs> we tried. And I explained to the kids, I said, well, this is... Now, if you live in Florida, there's just peak neighborhoods and apartments and getting out in nature is rare because, you know, you live in like tiny little things. I get that. So she should have explained to the kids that she's an actual moron. Are you sure that your name is not Amy Moron instead of Amy Marion? People in apartments don't get out in nature. Are you really this stupid? How does living in an apartment versus a house affect how much time you spend in nature, Amy? That makes zero sense. Are you saying people who live in apartments can't afford to go for hikes? That's kind of confusing. A lot of people who live in apartments do so because they prefer to travel and work and live without the responsibility of owning a home. They also prefer not to be house poor like Amy Marion so that they don't have to take out ridiculous loans that they can't afford and then take their kids to exclusively free activities and then buy their kids quality nutritious food instead yeah and not depend on mentally ill strangers to buy their children a treat so they can afford to get their children a few modern things so that they don't have to play a six-year-old game console and wear cheap too small clothes until the mentally ill strangers send a TJ Maxx gift card. Maybe 
the apartment dwellers would rather save money and get a gym membership that has a pool instead of spending precious hours maintaining a disgusting algae filled mess like you have. Maybe they live in an apartment because they would rather focus on their mental and physical health and not the work and time it takes to take care of a home. Maybe they live there so they don't have to take out a second mortgage for a failed business when they do purchase a home because of financial illiteracy. Maybe they don't want a foreclosure like you in the past or the future when this channel inevitably fails. This channel is going to end one way or another, Amy, because you're acting like a liar and an actual maniac. See why these are to get out and be free and have some spaces. Maybe if you do like a picnic or something, it's good to do. So I'll because people in apartments only get to have a picnic. But, um, hey. Hey, she gets so scared. There's another one. This is the Port Hamer part of the water. We're going to get up and walk and see the water. Is it okay to touch it? Cause it yeah, go ahead. Is it okay to touch it? Yeah, go ahead. Said the worst mother ever. No kids. Don't touch things that you don't know what they are. Did you know that Florida has all the poisonous snakes? Are you going to let him touch those too, Amy? Tonight we're going to have nachos, we got tortillas, and then the meat and beans. That is so dry. Look at it. It's just been sitting there all day. Yum, Mom, can we have seconds? Hey, yum. There will be leftovers tomorrow, guaranteed. And toppings. All right, one of those. Tacos. So there's enough filling on this one taco for three tacos. Whoever made this is a maniac. Delicious. All right. All right. So I came outside. So we just enjoyed dinner. It was delicious. Justin's doing his kind. So she still has part of her donkey on her lips. Look at her right there. Bubbling lips with part of a donkey on it. So that burrito that she had was about 800 calories. This is how you get fat, folks. That's more than half of her daily calorie allowance in one tiny burrito. Don't believe me? Look it up. Grass back there. We anticipated having a great time doing some little bit of exploring, but you know what? It did not work out, and that is okay. We're going to try again tomorrow. It's going to be a whole week. I think we're going to try all week going somewhere, so get out a little bit while it's cooler. Amy, how are different public parks and hiking trails going to offer any different experience unless you just want a different hike? Parks and hiking trails are all pretty much the same. So thank you for watching our day and what we do. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow with another video. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Today it is Wednesday. It is already Wednesday. Can you believe it? The week has just, seems like it's going by, doesn't it? Have, um, Greg wants me to make some brats and some um, macaroni salad. He said he really Amy loves brats and macaroni salad also. Like that. And then I thought, why don't I do a kid's favorite food day? All right, so I'm like, what? So here she is. Look at this. No ring. Once again, it's Wednesday. We're going three days on no ring, Amy. Where's your ring? Way behind today. I was outside filming. I'm like, I'll go in. I'll start making breakfast. And then um, Brooklyn said, I gotta go. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> so completely was wrong in the time. I had to run out the door. So I quickly put in biscuits because I had like 10 minutes before I went. And I just put them in. This little oven right here cooks fast. So the top, where is this? The top got brown real quick. So I hurried up and flipped them over and cooked. Those biscuits are inedible. Nobody needs to eat those biscuits. They're hockey pucks. They're burnt. Don't eat them. Burnt items have carcinogens. That's cancer-causing items, Amy, if you don't know what they are. Look up carcinogen. The rest of these I got done before I left just because I knew um, I'd have to have breakfast done and I was going to have to be gone for a little bit. So Okay, I'm going to do you a favor, Amy. Here you go. Here's a solid. Listen closely. This is how your oven works. Turn the knob to preheat high heat. Put the temperature knob on the desired temperature. Choose convection bake on the other knob for almost every one of your baking applications. Once the oven has preheated, the oven light will go off. If your selected temperature was above 375, leave the preheat knob on high bake. If the selected temperature was below 375, put it on low bake. It's that simple. 
Brooklyn is a 16-year-old, zitty-faced little girl who has to work full-time because her mom already booted her out of her fake schooling. She is not a genius, and she knows nothing about that stove. It is not a professional stove that just cooks real high like a professional one. No, Amy, I just told you how to use it. Go ahead and clip that and save it, and you can listen to it every time you need to cook. Jeeps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make some little breakfast sandwiches out of these. <laughs> I'm like, a eh, little burnt, but that's okay. Get my pans out here. I'm gonna cook some eggs and I've got some of that maple sausage from Walmart. They really like that. Once again, there it is. No ring. Why no ring, Amy? And keep moving with our day. We got off the ramen over here. They're excited for a ramen day. Like I don't understand why Grandma Barb knows that Amy can't cook, but she sent her the stupidest ramen. Look like spaghetti noodles and miso. What kind of kid likes miso? The kids like ramen. Why didn't you just send them packs of ramen, Barb? Yes. You know Amy can't cook anything correctly. How was she going to pull off that ramen? You wanted her to fail. Ramen. <laughs> so, we keep cooking this up. Some of these look really good to fry it real quick. That's for Amy. This is Amy's meal. Crazy. So I'm going to make two in here, put the other ones in a glass container, put them in the refrigerator. Okay, so this is going to be extended. He'll have so who in their right mind prepares the hot dogs, puts the brats on a bun with the mustard before they get home? So this is just going to sit and chill all day until Greg gets back from work what or until he wakes up to go to work what everybody knows that you never put a dog on its bun until you're ready to eat it amy this is for you this is not for greg you're gonna finish filming and you're gonna choke this down your big gullet stop your lies have something because he's on a different shift right now and i'll have these for the next couple days so it don't matter what shift he's on nobody wants to eat old brats on a soggy bun you're a liar you're lying it was hard to get those lids on because they're brand new i'm gonna whip up some um quesadillas for the kids i've got taco meat and cheese from yesterday left over i'm gonna make some of this prime over here on the stove that'll be lunch it'll take us until the afternoon for dinner my kids just like them crispy and they like putting hot sauce on it that's just how they like it so here are their tacos from yesterday, leftover quesadillas. What did I tell you? They didn't eat them. She makes tacos for the show, and the kids never eat them. She used one pound of hamburger meat, one pound. And now they're reusing it today. That's not enough protein for any child. All these kids are eating are the tortillas or the chips or the snacks, whatever she gets that day. These kids do not eat protein. They do not eat a balanced diet. That's why they're sick all the time. So that will be a good lunch, grid munching. Take them in the afternoon, and then later today we'll start our um, ramen and get that done. So this is good. It's like taking me a little bit of time, a little slow moving today. All right, so lunch is made. Breakfast is done. Got meals for Greg. I'll work on dinner later on this afternoon. And, um, go get stuff done with kids. We got to do our school. We got a little bit of school stuff to do today that's taking some time. Notice that, and then we've never had bikes, like very much... In the mountains. They had bikes the whole time they lived in the mountains. They even went riding for Autumn's birthday. They went riding several times. When Greg left, she took the kids riding. They ride mountain bikes. They've owned mountain bikes, crappy mountain bikes, but they were mountain bikes. What do you think mountain bikes are, Amy? Where do you think you ride mountain bikes? It's because you just can't because, you know, where are you going to ride at? <laughs> it's a mountain bike, Amy. You ride them in the mountain up and down the mountain on trails you should google it sometime i guess i wasn't even thinking you know because that's what happens in real life their tires are completely flat and so we're riding them i think amy really just says some random crap sometimes like she just makes things up and says random crap like oh my goodness my legs are on fire and steven's like my legs are hurt. like the kids are like it's fine it's great i said no no bike riding should not be this hard bike riding is enjoyable and fun i'm like it should not be a struggle to ride bikes <laughs> they've never like they don't ride all the time so it's not like they're like oh my tires fly i need air they're like we'll just so they rode the bikes with flat tires Jensen and Steven are way too old to not know that they need air in the tires. What did Greg ever teach them if he didn't teach them that they need air in the tires? Are you making this up? This makes no sense whatsoever. Are your children really that delayed 
that they would ride a bike with a flat tire. I've never even seen a small child, like a three-year-old, ride a bike with a flat tire, ever. There's trooper, they're troopers, they'll just go ride it, they don't even care, that's the beauty of my kids. I'm like, they're like, we got this, so now it's gonna be like, wow, riding bikes is gonna be awesome. Where'd I go? It's your kid, that doesn't make your kids troopers. It makes them seem like they're behind. It's a nice park, we've been here before. It's a nice neighborhood area, and it's like clean and like, good and like i say not dirty because it's, it's like a it's like a i'm gonna say like a richie neighborhood park is that a good one okay brooklyn she's waiting chatting's done i got a few extra minutes on here so you have just a short little video let me get her and we'll head home and now what i do is get dinner because we gotta go make sure you show the big parking lot where brooklyn works the door so i'm gonna do we're gonna do the ramen ramen from miss barbara which will be fun and then i was like i feel like we gotta have something with this kind of protein so i remember i got these yeah, Amy worried about protein when all they've eaten so far, it's Wednesday, and all they've eaten so far is a pound of hamburger meat, and they didn't even finish it. The buffalo chicken bites? For my kids, one of my, my kids, you know what my kids can do? They can all eat with chopsticks. I'm the only one in this family that cannot eat with chopsticks. I don't even know how they do it. And the kids are That's impressive, but all she feeds the kids is chicken nuggets. You ruin the ramen. I'm just going to add as much spice as they want to it, and I'll show you what it looks like. His. Jensen did the miso, and then he did the spicy one because he likes spice. They wouldn't even know how much to put in there. How would the kid know how to how much to put? Hey, they look like spaghetti. Jensen. Who's Jensen? The boy with the hand. Was done. I ate my soup. Who's Jensen? The boy with the hand. Jensen doesn't want you talking about him. That's who Jensen is. Stop bringing him up all the time. You talk about his bubble guts, and then he looks like a fool. But you don't care because it's not about you. Stop talking about Jensen. That's who Jensen is. The boy who doesn't want you to mention him. Because you don't pay him. They had this, had the chicken and the ramen. So they didn't touch the ramen, Barb. Kids don't want ramen that this woman had to destroy. They ate the chicken and that's it. Wow. Good. I, there's a couple. There's an extra. Maddie didn't love the fresh ramen, which is okay. Not everybody does. Um, Jensen had a little bit left over and I got... Maddie yelling get out at the top of her lungs because she's still hungry and one of the boys barking at the dog her kids are actually terrible dog's barking like crazy we are going to go that was Jensen barking at the dog park now so I'm getting everybody ready okay we made it to the park so this is a good park good park to kind of walk around and kids are out playing on the play structure we're gonna go walk in the Florida woods me and Maxine These camera angles that she did are so stupid. She should have put that effort into better editing or better sound. It adds nothing to the video. She didn't even do it right or get the edit correctly at all. She's improving in her old age. We were just talking the other day. We're like, she's already five years old. And, uh, she's already five years old. That dog could live to 15, but she's lucky to even make it to five months with Amy as a mama. I had it for that long. I can't believe I had it for that long. So. Thank you for watching, for coming along and watching my kids' favorite food daily with the husband's meals and life. That's what I she called that saran wrap mushy hot dog brought her husband's meal. Well, that's stretching it, isn't it? She always talking to us outside too, like Greg's inside raging or sleeping or who knows. But a ring is off, which tells me most likely Greg isn't there. And the kids are running around the house acting a fool. And she can't even record. So in here, so you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another video. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys, so we've been a great day today. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning. So this was posted on October 19th. And supposedly it's the 12th. To you. And I had to take Brooklyn to work. And when we leave this early for her to go to work, it's like through the school, everybody going to school hours. So it's much longer. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, how is it she hates taking Brooklyn to work and Brooklyn just needs to get herself a bus pass. She pretends like it's teaching her kids something. It's not. The hardest part about getting a job is figuring out how to get to work all the time. Let her do the hard part, Amy. No, Amy wants her to save money so that she can get herself a car and work her little job and then get married off. Keep an eye on Brooklyn's hand because I wouldn't doubt that Amy will be announcing her engagement soon enough. 95 degrees with all this rain. And then there was like a tornado warning and all that. So I don't know. I think there's stuff going through the area. So, so the tornado warning 
was on the 11th. So that would have been Wednesday. So this is Thursday, really, Amy? I don't think so. And no ring once again. We're on four days straight of no ring. She's getting comfortable with it off. But if you look in her comments, she erases every single comment that asks anything about Greg. I'll get all my food done, and then I'm going to have to pick up Brooklyn, and then it's going to be um, school, getting that done, and then if it doesn't rain, we'll go head up to another park today. I'm going to just get food breakfast done now, so then tomorrow they can just have this for breakfast. So we're going to make a double bigger batch of... Yum. So not only do they get to keep eating little pancakes, they get to eat them leftover for two days. Yummy, Mommy. Pancakes. Okay, these things go real quick and real fast. I was just thinking about it. I was talking to a girlfriend. And she has um, some little ones, and she had a rough night with them. And she's like, I'm just trying to get through with coffee today. Imagine calling your daughter and your grandchildren a friend in her little ones. It's so creepy and weird. We know that that was Lauren. Lauren doesn't want her kids mentioned, but she sure took all those gifts from strangers for the baby shower. She doesn't want her kids or her name mentioned, but she sure took all those gifts for her wedding shower. She doesn't want her mom to mention her name, but she allows her to keep the wedding vlog and all of that up and keep making money off of it. Lauren makes about as much sense as Amy. Perhaps Lauren should make herself a grifting channel also. And I thought, and I was showing a picture. I said, this one I'm doing today, making mini pancakes. She's like, oh, I couldn't pull myself together. And I said, yeah, when I had little kids, I didn't pull myself together at all. So I'm moving around. It's not like the kids couldn't make the stupid box pancakes themselves and then they would be fresh. I love what I did is, these are cooking, I'm getting there. Ooh, that's noisy. And then over here, I... Ooh, that's noisy, but I won't edit it out because I don't care about the people wearing headphones. I do not care. I put in, I've got some water bowl. I'm going to make pasta, broccoli with chicken for lunch today. And Stephen asked me, he said, can we have the rest of that chicken for lunch? That buffalo chicken from... Of course they wanted the buffalo chicken from Sam's Club. Everything you make is inedible. Of course they want some chicken nuggets. From Sam's Club and this, I'm going to make some soups. They wanted, uh, one of my children would like some chicken noodle soup. Just put um, some chicken in there I had. Rotisserie chicken, I just kind of broke it off, put some of that. Um, There's like no chores, like house stays clean. Somebody wanted chicken noodle soup because they were sick because somebody is always sick. You know, the green algae in the pool and all of the rancid oil she uses. Who knows why her kids are sick, but somebody is always sick. Like, I'm, is it because the kids get older or is the house just better to take care of? I don't know. Or is the mess just upstairs and I don't see it? Either way. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe having them all in one room, it seems to get messier with the girls, but separated. they. Could you imagine that all five of her girls used to live in one small room? All five of them. That is ridiculous. Have their own space. I would have moved out and got married if I was Lauren also. I don't know. So all these pancakes, there you go. Breakfast for a few days, for sure. It is called Penny. Yum. Old pancakes, for sure. Yes. Supper casserole. I think somebody said because the hot dogs are cut like in coins, so it looks like pennies. Penny supper casserole is legitimately some of the most unhealthy, disgusting poo that you can feed to a human it's called penny supper casserole because it's eaten out of desperation and poverty it is not something that you feed your children after you purchase a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar house i just like and your husband drives an audi for me i see like that so we're not going to eat that on there and yeah there's a tiny little bit of potato right there but that's enough potato scraps for an entire family of four to have a side or a snack. Amy loves to project her bad habits onto all of us. No, I don't waste anything like you do, especially time and money. Throwing away potatoes and making disgusting casseroles, you wouldn't catch me doing any of that. I always look at like, and think of the amount of food that everybody throws away. Everybody. Mm -hmm. No, Amy, not everybody. Not everybody, most people. <laughs> and then she corrects herself, most people. Well, why do you want to be like most people? You have your own channel because you say that you're different. Why don't you act different? Rephrase that. And I think, I know they throw away more than those little potato peels in their daily life. I know that they throw away more than those little potatoes. You don't have to compare yourself to everybody, Amy. Why don't you do what's good instead of doing what everybody else does? But I know they do. And if they don't, they go out to eat. And those restaurants waste that kind of food. So so because restaurants waste food, she can waste food too. Get off of her back. God. The soup turned out. Look at this. That's 
Tasty chicken noodle soup. Delicious. Oh, smoke right there. That'll be good. This will be this is good. Imagine being a homeschool teacher and you don't know the difference between smoke and steam. Lunch right here today. So it'll be a little bit of the real, you know, chunk potatoes. Look where they're kind of mushy because that's what they are. Frozen those. And let me add hot dogs to them. Mushy potatoes and hot dogs. Yum, yum, yum. Eat it up, kids. Hope you enjoy this one. Now you're going to end up adding one can of cream of and the cream of dirt soup. Yes. Mushroom soup. I'm gonna I love this for you kids. I'm going to do my frozen one, so I'm going to do two. It's so bad. Okay, I'm trying to figure out lighting here. Like, if I have, like, I see this myself, it, to me, it's all. I've only been doing this for eight years. I need to figure out lighting here. Fuzzy, I don't know what it looks like on camera when I edit it. So, this is a sweet cornbread. We moved to North Carolina. The kids and I did a, um, a two, uh, tailgate market. They would go there and sell, you know, different things. And so, we sold, um, food. We'd make sandwiches and subs and, and just, uh, and be able to sell each Thursday. And we did cinnamon rolls, too. We would Imagine buying food from Amy and her kids. You would have a death wish. People actually bought her poor boy subs. I wonder if they would also want her Cuban sandwiches. Make food and take it to the tailgate market and just make it down there and eat it. Well, one time I made chili and cornbread and I'm like, ooh, I love our cornbread. I know it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Had a couple southern people eat it and they're like, oh, oh, what is that? That's what everybody says when they would eat your cooking. Oh, oh, what is that? It tastes like cake. And I'm like, it's cornbread. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what everybody would say when they taste her food. That is not what you said it was. It's like one of those strange casseroles where you're like, this is actually really good. So I'm going to pour this on here. And then we're going to stir it and I'll put it in the... That was burnt. 13. <laughs> she saw that it was burnt and she laughed at it. Look at how this stuff. Shame. What? She burnt it and then she laughed. She hates her kids. She does not care about their food, their taste buds, their health, their life. Is better to do. Is it like for long term for them? Is it like they'll never be able to go back to regular milk and that stuff like that? You know what I mean? Imagine asking your idiot subscribers that ask you questions about Jensen's stomach instead of a doctor. I don't know, like, what is that? Amy, an elimination diet. Just Google it. Look it up. It's very easy. And it's exactly what any doctor would tell you. An elimination diet. Better taking a pill to suppress it or so that you can get the nutrients from, like, the regular food versus, like, you know, processed cheese that's made with who knows what. And, um... Scratch that pan all up with that metal utensil. Make sure you do so that later you can blame it on your children. Not having a lactose. So give me your thoughts. Like, no, I'm curious. I'm curious now I can Google it. I'm, I'm curious. I know I could Google it. I know I can ask his doctor, which is probably the best thing to do. But I would rather have strangers on YouTube tell me what to do. Sure, look it up, but you guys have a lot of knowledge. Scratch that really hard, Amy. Scratch the crap out of it. Down here like to get opinions. That's always a good thing. Oh yeah, bake these. Delicious. You put them in the oven. I think it's about a half hour. Let me look. Do you know how many calories nuts are? Google it. 300 for about a half hour. Let me see what my um stuff in there looks like now. So the casserole is out of the oven. The cornbread is still cooking. Probably about two more minutes. Popcorn was the last thing on my list today. I wasn't going to do it. I'm like, you know what? It's good to have for munching and grabbing. So I have to do it. She wanted to make sure that they got some of that rancid oil in. Tonight. So they love it. If it's here, they'll eat it. So I'm just going to put this in here. Um, what happened? What did I do this afternoon? It, it rained the entire... She asked that twice in this vlog. What happened? What happened? She never knows what's going on, guys, anymore. Day. It's been like I think it might really be from the food and the dirty pool. She might be having confusion. Like stormy, like tornado warning weather. So yeah, bye. <laughs> So that tornado warning was on the 11th, guys. That means her videos are out of order because she called that Thursday. And it definitely was not Thursday. So this is Friday. Let's see what she has for us on her supposed Fragment Friday. It's been a great day today. This, it was, is this was posted October 20th. So supposedly it's the 13th. But it is not the 13th, is it? And does she have her ring on? Let's see. Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. So she made herself some caramel apples. It doesn't look like she has the ring on. What is this date? Look, there's a date over here. 
Do we see a date? Yes, we do. It says October. We can't see it, but we can tell that this only has one number. It can't be the 13th. It can't be the 12th. It can't be the 11th. It can't even be the 10th. This has to be the 9th. That means her videos are over two weeks behind. She always tells us one week, but this is definitely one number. I looked at it, you know, when I blew it up for you guys, but go back and look at the video. If you take it frame by frame, you can see that this indeed is not a 13. This was not filmed on the 13th. This is not Friday the 13th, like she says it is. It is a single digit number, which puts this video two weeks out. Can I talk to you like this? So obviously. And look at what she has on, a ring. She has her ring on. The last four days, she hasn't had her ring on. What I think happened is this video came before the other four days. It was this one first. It takes longer. Oh, I just dropped that. Of course she dropped it. You think she's going to use it? Of course she's going to use it. Can you do that one second? I can do that, right? It's going to bake. It's good. Okay, I was it's going to bake. It's good. Who cares? It's just my kids. Who cares if Greg got metal or glass on the floor and they're going to eat it? It'll just give Jensen a little bit more bubbles in his guts. Just in my kitchen and my finger started itching. I'm like, that's weird. And so I uh, noticed it was getting really red. I'm like, hmm. So she rubbed it and rubbed it and made it red, guys, so she can make up an excuse of why she hasn't had a ring on. In the comments, they were telling her, where's your ring, Amy? Where's your ring? Four days, she didn't wear her ring. And on Friday, she brings us a video saying that her, oh, oh, my finger swelled up. I don't know why. And she didn't mention not wearing her ring for four days. Maybe that crappy Julia ring was filmed on this day, and that made your finger swell up. Who knows, Amy? You're such a liar. Nobody knows the truth. I'm sure that at this point, you don't even know the truth. And that is why Greg left you. Maybe he's tired of hiding. Maybe he's tired of lying. All you do is lie and grift. And now, your followers can see it. So by my wedding ring, and then I... Uh started itching I was you know he started like moving your ring and I'm like I couldn't get off so I just took it off I don't know what I just touched be perfect you touched the same thing you've been touching for the last five days you haven't been wearing your ring so this is her foamy bean chili that has literally no seasoning and is just dumped from the can mess probably some liquid water liquid yum the foamy bean water in the chili is good for everybody, except for booty holes. This meal is done, right? This meal is done, and she slams the lid down on it. That meal is disgusting and over sodium and under seasoned and is just going to sit in the refrigerator until they get ready to eat it. She couldn't pour the cans in the day they eat it. No, she had to pour the cans in now and then sit it in the refrigerator to collect refrigerator stank for two days. Yum. I'm just going into my refrigerator. I'm going to put this out tomorrow for dinner. Greg was here. Kids were here. Look at uh, Greg was here. The kids were here. Why'd you have to tell us Greg was here like that? Because Greg's not really there. The kids ate that all. You and the kids. I hope you liked it, kids. It fell on the floor. Yeah, this is what we got left. I wonder if they already ate the piece that fell on the floor or if it's still here waiting for them. That's it. It is so good. A plate went up. This is dinner right here. This is going to be our dinner. Amy always gets herself a fresh plate. So that penny casserole that she made over there, 440 calories per serving. This stroganoff pizza or whatever she wants to call it with tots and that corn, this little tiny plate, 1,065 calories. And then Amy wonders why so many of her family members are ballooning up. That's why, Amy. This little tiny plate, almost 1,100 calories. This is the stroganoff, the tater tots, and the corn. Mmm, so good. Uh, back in the day when I didn't know how to cook. Back in the day when I didn't know how to cook, I wonder what that was like. Because this week alone, the total amount of protein that Amy cooked was maybe two pounds of hamburger meat, two shreds of chicken, and a few hot dogs. They had a pound of hamburger meat in their tacos. They used the leftovers for their quesadilla. 
They had two shreds of chicken in the chicken soup, hot dogs in the penny casserole, and another pound of hamburger meat that was in the chili. No meat whatsoever. How are your kids getting the nutrients they need? They're not. We would get the, was it Stouffer's? French bread pizza? She would be better to keep getting the Stouffer's for the kids because the concoctions that she makes and the dinners that she gives them are not nutritious for them. They do not have the macros that her kids need. She would be better off feeding them frozen foods like Stouffer's pizzas. Oh, remember that? I don't know, maybe because the stomach shirt's still around. We could eat that a lot. It was so good. I'm done for today. I'm calling my Friday done. That was it. She's calling her Friday done. All she did all week was make crappy, non-nutritious food for her kids. She didn't wear her ring because her husband is actually gone. And she made an excuse at the end of the week that her finger got swollen. No, Amy, your finger did not get swollen. Your ring was taken off because of the same reason that you didn't take your daughter to dinner on the weekend after her birthday. You and Greg got into an argument. Greg took off or he had to go back to rehab and you took your ring off. Why don't you ever tell the truth? Or just don't film so that you don't have to be a liar. Anyways, neighbors, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Where's Greg? Do you think he's really back? I know we've seen him in the shark hunting video, but do you think he's really back? Or is Amy playing her audience for the fool that she thinks that they are? Leave your comment below and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day, neighbors. Bye.